Um, there is no central place where I can go and say, uh, okay, here are all the legitimate brokers uh, or examiners for all of the states and pick and choose one. Instead, any hacker can put a website up, make it look extremely competitive, and because of the nature of the system, and this is healthcare after all, they can ask you the most intimate questions and you're freely going to answer them. What's my social security number? Um, my birth date? Um, well, once you have those issues? two, boy, you're off to the races getting info on people. Just those two things alone. So what do you right, do, John, imagine, to guard yourself you against had, it? What do you go do? Ahead. Well, here's the problem. It's, it's, it's not something software can solve. Hmm. I mean, what idiot uh, put this system out there and did not create a central depository? There should be one website run by the government. You go to that website, and then you can click on all of the agencies. This is insane. So I, I will predict that the loss of, of income for the millions of Americans who are going to lose their identities. I mean, you can imagine some, some uh, retired lady in, in Utah with uh, $75 in the bank, saving her whole life, having it wiped out in one day because she signed up for Obamacare. And believe me, this is going to happen millions of times. This is a hacker's wet dream. I mean, I, I cannot <laughs> believe that they did this. I cannot believe you just said that, but that's why I like having you on. But um, 